Hello, Irene Smith here on a Monday. And if you remember the last time I was having trouble making this into an office, and for some bizarre reason, I added a an office chair to for that second desk. And as soon as I did, just like magic, it became an office. Which I guess shouldn't surprise me. I thought that I had used a chair, an office chair from the from the game. I thought that I had used a desk from the game, but for some reason it wasn't recognizing it, but it recognized this chair and it made it into an office. So one less thing we have to think about. I probably will still decorate some more in this room, but for now, the room is what we want it to be. So we're done with it. And if you remember this bedroom. <coughs> and so the areas we have to work today on are this side and the other side that matches this. We have to divide it into one or more rooms and we have to furnish it. I think the first thing to do though is this bathroom. And the first thing we need is tiles for the wall. So as you can see, I just bought that chair. Blue seems like a nice color, so we can do blue. And that should be enough of them. I really rather like this, uh, and, and it comes in all different colors. There's this one that's blue and white, there's uh, pink and white, there's green and white. And I really like them. <coughs> I'm sorry, in case you didn't know, and in case it isn't obvious from my voice, I have had a miserable cold since Thanksgiving. Uh, so much so that we didn't get to celebrate Thanksgiving with our family. All three of us were sick, and we didn't want to get anybody else sick, so we stayed home on Thanksgiving and basically didn't eat because um, we, we finally ended up ordering some Chinese food because none of us had the energy to cook, and none of us felt like going anywhere. So, uh, and interestingly enough, the one Chinese restaurant that we normally call was closed on Thanksgiving. <laughs> but the other one was open, thank God. Because brother, uh, the, the Italian restaurant that we often call was closed. And, you know, I, I get it. People like to have holidays with their family. So I understand that. It's just that it's it's frustrating when you need something and you can't get it. But uh, we're all beginning to feel a little bit better now, thank God, because my days off are over as of today. Tomorrow I have to start work again. So whether I feel like it or not. So now... This is going to be a half bathroom, so we need to do a sink and a toilet. That was the wrong thing to do. This is the right thing to do. <laughs> so first we get the sink. Oh. And I'm 
thinking probably what I'm going to use is uh, one of the wider multiple sink, the sink, one of the wider sinks that has multiple basins in it. I love the fact that you can use those without having to buy two sets of plumbing because the, plumb, the plumbing is, is reasonably expensive. And yeah, I realize I'm at a point in the game now when um, spending a few extra bucks on something doesn't really hurt that much. But it feels like wasting money when you just have to buy two or three of something when you could buy one. So we'll get this bathroom done. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Once the bathroom is done, we'll we'll uh, work on the area outside, right outside the bathroom, and try to make that into a family room. And. funny um unfortunately today i ended up having to do something i don't like to do and that is record the sound after the video because the um soundboard did not get turned on before i started recording so i'm sort of uh ringing it as i go and uh And uh, so that's why the if I sound disjointed or bored, that's why I'm not bored. So now we need to put a toilet in here. And I decided that it would be better to put it this way than to put it the other way. So that way you don't have your knees right up against the sink. I made it hard on myself. That's better. Oh, anyway, so the soundboard wasn't turned on when I start when I did all this recording, so I have no sound, and I have to kind of make it up afterward, because otherwise you'd hear nothing. I don't know if you'd even hear the guard, the uh, you know, the sounds of my doing things in the game. So, but that's all right. I mean, you know, you do what you have to do. And if I'm boring you, I apologize for it. I really do. I 
don't normally have this, usually the first thing I do is check and make sure that's turned on. Um, I've gotten caught a couple times, but I've gotten in the habit of checking it, except that today I just didn't even think about it. I recorded the whole thing and then realized it was off and I had no sound. So we get this installed. And of course, there's more work that needs to be done in this bathroom. We need some decorations. We need some bathroom type things, but at least we can, we can put in a mirror. And I know exactly which one I, I wanted. I knew it <laughs> exactly which one. Exactly which one I wanted, um, and that's it. I just didn't realize how big it is in the large size. I mean, that is huge. But when you size it down one, it works. And that's that. So. Now we've got this bathroom done. Obviously, there's lots of other things it could use, like the roll, toilet paper roll for the wall. Um, put in. I was surprised that this was too wide uh, to fit here, but which is a shame. It would have been nice to have the two towels, but as you can see, it's too wide, and that's not going to work. So we'll go for the one that has a single towel on it. And as I said, once this is done, I can always come back and update it, add more things. And this will do. That'll do, donkey. Okay, so now this room is temporarily finished. And it's a nice sized powder room. There's no shower, there's no tub, but I don't think there needs to be one here. Uh, this is just for someone who needs to use the bathroom while they're visiting. So now we have to uh, divide this big long room into two rooms. And this seems like the best place to do it because uh, we can uh, actually get right up to where the glass is. And you can't. As you can see, you can't otherwise. So if we go across here, then it works. As I said, I um, uh, I'm sorry. I don't even remember why I paused so long here at this point. I'm sure I had a reason.
I had thought about closing it off there as well, but <coughs> the stairs get in the way. So, we can put a nice archway here. <coughs> I am so sorry to keep coughing. Believe me, if I could stop, I would. For some reason, I thought that that was the width of this, but it is not. It needs to be just a little bit wider. So, by removing one on this side, oh, why did I do them both? Okay. I did remove it from both sides, so it is even. The amount of wall space on either side of the archway is even. Oh no, look at that. And I already forgot that. Okay. Oh my gosh. I there's nothing I hate more than knocking down a wall and then having to build the same wall again. One thing I, I go crazy when I'm watching the people who, who do their videos with uh, no speech, who, who just have music playing the whole time, um, I find it annoying that they'll build a whole wall and then knock it all down and then build it again in exactly the same spot and then sell it, sell something. And then it frustrates me. It frustrates me that, that there's no planning ahead of time. So now we've got two rooms here, and we need to pick a color for the walls on this section of the room. As I said, that's going to be a family room. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I know. Floor. Yeah. I had forgotten that. Yeah, I'm looking for what floor patterns were already used. And I actually like this one. But my idea was to do that floor, but with um, a darker color. So... And actually, the floor in Grandma's living room, dining room, are, isn't bad either, but I think that a darker wood is, is appropriate here. And that's what I ended up um, selecting. Strangely enough, not the same pattern as the one that was in the master bedroom, which was my first thought was to use that, but in a darker brown. But... I, I really like what I ended up choosing. We can do the whole floor in this. And I like this pattern. I mean, this floor design is, is very nice. It's not too dark. And it's not too light. You know, like, like Mama Bear, it's just right. 
and I decided that it would be good to do both floors the same way. So, you know, that's another thing that has been driving me nuts with this game. All of a sudden, I never noticed it in the past, but all of a sudden, the lights go on and off. Just all you have to do is turn around and it's suddenly dark and then it's light and then it's dark again. And it's weird because I don't ever remember it being that way in the past. On the other hand, the second one is going to be out soon and we'll have new things to do and to worry about. So basically what we want to do is turn that other room, the one that's on the other side of the uh, archway into a family room because the one thing that the Johnsons always seem to complain about is that there's nowhere they can always be all be with family so I want to make sure that this is a family room and I remember with, with the office thing, I, I remember Malzi saying something about it raises the value of the house if you have a, a an office in your home in the home. So I was glad to be able to make that one work out. And I like this shade of green that I picked. Wasn't entirely sure of it when I picked it, but as soon as I saw it on the wall, I like it. And uh, of course, because of the way this house is made, doesn't ha you don't have to worry too much about walls because medium is more than enough paint. One can of medium paint is more than enough to do this whole thing. done. Oh. Why does it always seem you have to refill the paint roller for that last panel? Oh well. Okay, so here we have, and I wanted to have this be a family room, which meant that there must be a TV in it. But I also wanted to add some windows on the other side. Um, so that it's not just a solid wall. And as you'll see, this kind of created a problem because I bought this TV which is nice. But when I added the windows, the space between them wasn't enough to still use that TV. You'll see what happens. And the really weird thing is that I, I purposely moved the television from here, picked it up, and put it on the other wall. No, I picked it up and put it on the other wall so that it would be out of the way and away from the away from where the wall was going to be knocked down so but when I put the windows in and we used Evalon the Evalon windows
and we're using the same uh, black bleach. What is it? Black bleach theater. Anyway, same as everywhere else in the house. And that's going to be too wide. Now, I would have thought that once this was done like this, that there would be room between them for the TV. But, well, you'll see. Okay. Now. That's fine. Look what happened to the TV. It's down on standing on the floor. I don't know if it would even work at this point. I should have tried it before I sold it. Because it's too wide, obviously. Okay, so now we need a finish the extra walls that were opened up by the making putting in the windows Okay, so that finishes painting the room. Now we have to get another TV, unfortunately. To get the smallest one. As you can see. So what we need is that one on there. And that was narrow enough to allow it to fit in that window space. And I think that looks very nice. TV cabinet. It's one of the things you must have for a family room. I rather like those cabinets. Actually, I think the widest of those is wide enough to um, support the widest television if it was on a stand as opposed to on the wall. There. A 
And every time I want to make the statement that nobody uses DVD players anymore, I remember the person I know who does, who has a DVD player but not a Blu-ray player. Of course, I'm a geek, so I moved up to Blu-ray as soon as possible and moved to 4K as soon as possible. But they don't care about that as much as they do about other things, and this person um, actually has a DVD player, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But it, it feels to me like, like having a computer with Windows 95 on it instead of Windows 11. And again, there are people who would do that. They would run Windows 95 or Windows 2000 or any one of the earlier versions of Windows. funny. I really like that couch. I use it a lot, I know. But it, it seems like, you know, a really nice way to have plenty of seating. So you can have friends and family over and, and, and everybody's got a place to sit. the only complaint I sort of have about my living room. I love the I love the couch the couch and the recliners that we have. Um but there's not enough really not enough seating to have more than two or three people come over. On the other hand, how often do you have more? Okay, so we're getting there. This is a ah, we're going to add toys now. But at this point, I, I'm pretty sure it's already a living room. See, as, as you can see, I was trying to put a carpet down because one of the requirements is to have a carpet. Um, and actually it says carpet or picture. But uh, the mistake I made, I think, is by getting a carpet from the... I think I ended up getting the first carpet from the workshop. I, I am so sorry. I don't mean to keep coughing in your ear. <laughs> yeah, I ended up going for a carpet from the workshop, and they don't seem to count. A lot of the workshop stuff doesn't count as what it's supposed to be. For example, um, if you use kitchen items from the workshop, um, kitchen counters and, 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 and like that, that come from the workshop, they'll tell you that, oh, gee, isn't it a shame we don't have a kitchen in this house? And it's, it's like, really? What did you think that stuff in the kitchen was? But, hey. Okay, so anyway, put down this carpet. I hate that. That doesn't seem to happen as much with um, the work, the things from the game, as it does from the work, with, as it does with the workshop items. Now 
now the idea is to get some toys Turns out I really only needed to have one toy, but I also needed to have a bookcase and a, and a cupboard, both bookcase and cupboard. I rather like this cabinet. I've seen a lot of people use it. And I like the way it looks. I like the way you can have the different colored center to the doors. Yeah, that pretty nice. Anyway, so I put that cupboard in thinking that, that, thinking that that would make the difference, but it didn't. I don't know where I'm headed now. Just occurred to me though that um, when we when we meet the next time, it might be nice to put. <coughs> Sorry, that it might be nice to put a table out here with chairs, so you could eat out here in the fresh air. In good weather, when it's not too cold. But I couldn't exactly. I couldn't really pick a plan for this until I know what I want to do with the entire garden. And I really haven't decided yet. I've been torn between, you know, the English garden has been very easy for me, has gotten very easy for me to get full points on. The American garden isn't too far behind. I've gotten full points on that a bunch of times. The modern garden is probably the most difficult 
for me, which I find funny because um, when I looked at the wiki to see what was good for the for an English garden and how to get full points on an English garden, one of the things it said was, the English garden is the hardest one to get all points on. And I thought, mm, not really. But, you know how it is. Everybody has the things that are difficult for them, and everybody has the things that are easy for them. And even very similar people sometimes are different. Okay, back in the living room to soon-to-be family room. I believe it is a family room now. And if you're wondering why I can't just look and see that, um, I see a much smaller image <coughs> than what you would see if you watched it on your computer screen, even if you watched it in a browser window. So, but we now have, the office is now an office, and the other room is now a family room, so we're doing well, we're getting what we want, and I think unfortunately, that that is where we are going to cut the cord for today. <coughs> Honestly, I'm sorry. I just cannot continue. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends, and please comment. Thank you.